The last thing we're going to talk about is code coverage analysis. Code coverage is something that's provided out of the box with PHP unit, but requires either xdebug, pcov, or phpdbg installed in your application. If we use xdebug, which is an extension you can install using brew or your package manager of choice. And what this will facilitate is the ability to create coverage reports to tell you which lines of code in your test suite execute which lines of code in your application and how much coverage you've got of your application. If you want more information about this, you can check out the PHP unit documentation on code coverage analysis. As I mentioned, it's important that you have xdebug installed and enabled in your PHP installation. And you can check that by running php-v. And you'll see here that we've got xdebug version 2.95 installed, which meets our minimum requirements. You can see a sample of the output here and it tells you where you've got coverage in your file and the percentage of coverage that you have. Now, our coverage is not gonna be particularly impressive simply because we're not really covering an actual application. However, we'll still get an output here because we are running this in a Laravel application and it will show us from all of our app files where we have coverage. 75% of our kernel is covered, 0% of our exception handler is covered, but 100% of our controller, mostly because that base controller is empty. But you can see here that we have a coverage percentage of 62.16% provided by our tests. Another option that we can pass to pests along with coverage is a minimum. If we pass the dash dash min flag and give it a number, of say 70%, we'll see that we actually fail code coverage because the 62% is below the minimum. And this is a really good way of determining at some threshold for your application, how much coverage you have. 